I'm gonna sue for slander because obviously I didn't do what they're accusing me of doing, so I'm suing for slander. I don't even remember if I got pregnant before I moved out with my lovely husband, I'm assuming. Yeah, husband. Brandon. I can't even remember if he got me pregnant or not. But I suppose we're gonna have to wait and see because we got a big enough house. We got enough rooms. We, if we have twins, triplets, we got enough. We got three spare bedrooms for the children. I'm pretty sure this room my husband is in was meant to be a, a child, uh, uh, baby's room too, but we turned it into a hobby's room, like, why not? We don't want a lot of babies. We can at least have three, just to fill up the household. So that's what will happen when I find out I'm pregnant, if we've even done it yet. I don't even know. But I'll find out later on, I'm sure. Like, me and my husband have been together for the longest time. He probably wants to go visit his sister. Cause I'm pretty sure he has a half-sister now, so, like, uh, he might want to go visit her. If not, I'll do it for him. Like, not an issue. I can do it for him. Like, maybe we could go in the morning and visit her. It's getting near to the morning. It's like two in the morning. Like, we can surely go. Well, my husband and I will probably go together. But either way, it will happen. I didn't do it. You're guilty! Guilty! This is so ridiculous! How could I lose the case when I didn't even do anything? Like, not fair. Had enough of this town, but we gotta stay in this town because of a stupid half sister. Maybe if we just move towns, then I won't be falsely accused. But obviously, they have family in this town, so I have to stay for them if I want to keep my husband. And apparently, I am going to be pregnant because I'm I feel sick for unknown causes. So I am expecting. So. I'm, I'm feeling like I need the toilet after all that. And is there a shower here? I don't particularly like baths. So can I have a shower instead? Um, yeah, upstairs is one, duh. Okay, I'll take a shower. And then I'm going to have to have some more than salad. I don't think I have a cooking skill. I can't be bothered to learn it right now. I'm kind of tired out from all that protesting, especially since I lost. So I'm just going to go to bed after I've had some more than salad. Maybe my husband has the cooking skill. No, but he'll pretty sure that he'll learn it eventually. When he's finished his painting, it looks like he might need to do that. Like, he can do it for us. Like, he, he can do it. He can serve some waffles. That would really help me out. Like, it really would. Hmm. I don't know if I can finish this painting before I get really starving and wet myself. I might have to stop this painting before it's even complete. In fact, I might do so. 
I'm getting kind of bored of it. Like, I'm getting kind of bored. If I don't finish soon, I'm going to go really tired. So I need to do this before I have a bad um, um, experience. Like, you know what I mean? I don't have to explain. No, I don't. So... I'm going to have to stop very soon. I hope I can get this painting done. By the looks of things, it looks like I'm nearly done. So, like, that's a really good, like, I'm nearly done. That's, like, a good feeling for me. I don't particularly like this feeling, but I think I'm nearly finished with my painting. It's coming along quite well. I don't know what I'm going to do with the painting. Probably sell it for money, but by the looks of it, we look like we have enough money. So I'll probably just make this the art room as well as the hobby room and put up all my prized paintings in here till they need to be sold but right now they don't need to be sold because we have enough money to buy a whole cruise ship to go on holiday which we ain't gonna do just yet especially with a child on the way I think that's a bit too soon maybe we go on holidays with the baby when it's a bit older but right now I think we're just fine right here I think when I wake up, I'm going to go visit my my half-sister, I think it is. I haven't visited her yet, so I don't know if I quite know where, where they moved to, but it's somewhere in the town, and I have to go visit them to see um, how they're doing. Like, how they are doing. But right now i can't particularly visit them because i've got a lot to do in the house i'm sure they'll understand anyway but i need to get this painting done especially if i have work in the morning well actually i don't have work because it's a sunday i work i work in a school so obviously i don't have to work till tomorrow and um I work um, five days a week, Monday to Friday at the school, so it should be quite good. And if you guys were wondering, my wife is an organ donor. She works five days a week too, Monday to Friday, which works out perfectly for the babies because even though they don't get attention on the weekdays, they still get their time with us on the weekends so that works out perfectly fine and we're probably just having a good day today visiting my relatives and probably some other things but right now I'm just focusing on getting on with my life I just completed my painting and what I'd like to name it is Masterpiece. I can't even spell piece, but don't judge me. I'm just, I'm just a little boy at heart. I still miss my family, but by the looks of things, it looks like I don't even need this in my room. Like I don't, I don't need it. I'm not a child. This is a hobby room. And I might even get a pet, if it's okay with my wife. I'm pretty sure we're set out on getting just a dog. So where are we getting a dog if our children want a pet? Well, I think right now we're just fine with the two of us. So when our children or child is born, we will have to discuss it with them when they get older. So that's always good, isn't it? Like, it is good, but I don't know, know how I'm going to deal with all these paintings. Like, it's just not, not safe whatsoever. Like, oh my god. 
Do you seriously have to do that? I suppose we can put it in front of the keyboard. It looks presentable at least. Okay, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I could really use it. Oh, now I graduate today. I don't know if I get my beauty sleep in time. If I have to go graduation. Oh, by the looks of it, it looks like my wife is, is pregnant with my child. Well, our child. So, it looks like she'll be getting a few days off of work to look after the child. So, that might help out a lot. Especially if she gets the five days that she should be at work off. Because I still bring in the moolah. So, she doesn't have to worry about that. But I'm going to make, I'm going to make some, she even eat her food, she just left it on the counter like, put it back in the fridge if you ain't going to eat it, or at least finish it. But I'm going to make some more food for you, we both have cooking skills around the house to help out the children. And I mostly have my cooking skill that I just started now. I have to make sure I don't burn this house down with this lovely food that I'm making for myself and my wife. For her to eat whenever she feels like it. But right now, I feel like I need to have some breakfast before I head to bed. Since it's the weekend and my day off and her day off. She has more days off of me. She doesn't have to work tomorrow. Or for a few days because of the pregnancy. But that is all fine and good. Because she'll be here to help out when it's born. Which I'm pretty sure is in three days time. So, if we can work this out, I'll work it out. No need to roll your little heads about it. I'll work it out. So, it's Sunday today, so, law, um, 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 I will work it out. Give me time. I'm just trying to think of what I have to do after I've eaten. Oh, yeah, sleep. Okay, so she just realised it today that she's pregnant. So, there's sun Sunday to Thursday. The second day will be Monday. Tuesday she'll be having the baby. That's uh, just a guess. It could end up being Wednesday, but either way, we have to wait quite a while. Especially the way this series is going. I'm talking about it a lot. I can't know about it a lot. I'm just a sim in a computer screen. But I'm... Um, but I'm pretty sure that I have to wait quite a while to see the bundle of joy. Tuesday will take a while to happen. I'll be at work probably when it's being born, but at least I get to spend some time with it when I finish work at about 2 p.m. Which works out fine. I thought I'd be working till 3 or 4 because of the kids, but obviously not. It's like on The Sims 4, you can't even work at a school. So, like, you should be grateful that you get this opportunity. Oh, I wonder what the baby's going to be. Oh, it wants some diamonds. Oh. Why have we got to get up? Why? We got graduation, dear. That's why we got to get up. We got to go graduation. That is so lame. Like, by us. Why have we got to attend graduation? Mm, I don't know, but my main question is why you're wearing, why have you got a horse as your outfit? Aren't you supposed to wear a gown? Or can't you because you're pregnant? Because that wasn't time well at all, if you ask me. 
But you're quite fit. Are you seriously jogging all the way there or are we taking a car? Because honestly, a car would be more better. You mean much better? Yes, it would be a much better fit for us. Like, it would be a much better fit and I don't know how else to explain it, but it will be good. It be real good. Like, it will. But well, we're going to graduation now. We have a good graduation day today. Oh my god, like, I can't believe I'm graduating. I don't want it up to. Like, I'm pregnant. Oh, Hopefully after we've had our graduation, we can go and visit relatives because I'm like, I'm getting bored of this graduation. Definitely, but no rocking chair. Like, I can't be dealing with that. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait for this graduation to be over like you telling me it's like so lame like why do we have to do this on our anniversary it's not even your anniversary get over it I just want to have a lot I don't know where the hell the seasons went. Like, I don't know where the seasons went. I thought you're supposed to have seasons. I'm pretty sure the owner turned it on, but like, where are they? But I graduated from community high school with a merit. My classmates have voted me most likely to take over the world. The future is bright for the me. Diplomas and awards can be found in my inventory and my husband Brandon has graduated from high school with a merit his classmates have voted him most likely to fulfill their lifetime wish the future is bright for him and his diploma as well so that looks like a good thing like could you ask for more Oh, come on, it's time now. You know where they're located. Let's go visit them. Are they in? Dina is out at the moment. Way to ruin it. I don't want to visit them. Is our father at least in? Wait, who is that? Is that like our brother? 
I don't know who it is, but like, is it our farmer or? Can we have a look at our family tree? I'm, I'm a bit confused, like, a bit confused. Our daughter, okay. Son, okay. Maybe not him. Like, can we just visit our father? I'm pretty sure I know where he lives. Sophia is out. Oh my god. Okay, we might as well just visit. They're probably, um, half brother two, half brother, half sister. I don't know. Leave away, we're visiting them. Come on, let's go. Maybe afterwards we can eat out. But for now, we just go and visit them. Enjoy our day off in style and not some lame graduation to ruin our day off. You know what I mean? Like, how boring was that graduation? At least we're no longer high schoolers. Like, you should be grateful, Brandon. Don't tell me you're going out. We'd like to visit you, Cruz. We haven't seen you in a while. So don't go out yet. We haven't even said hello. Like, let us say hello and stop being rude. Can you let us in? Sure, dude. Come inside. I'm rich as hell. Do you live here with your parents or is this just your house? Uh, I think I live here on my own now, as I'm an adult. That's amazing! You got a nice place here! Even a spare bedroom for the kids. Kids? Yeah, I'm pregnant! You're gonna be a half-uncle, I'm guessing, and... Deirdre, which is the half-sister, is going to be a half Arnie, I'm guessing. So that's, like, so amazing, right? <laughs> it certainly is. I didn't know. <laughs> but no, we don't want to ride the horse. We just want to talk to you. Like, it's been a while. Like, who even are you? Do we know you? Like, pretty sure we have to talk to you a bit. This isn't a date, this is just like a visit. Come on, let's talk. This is a nice home you got here. Thanks, bro. It's nice to meet you. My name is Dorothy. Hey, Dorothy, I'm Cruz. So, I've been into gardening lately, like I'm enjoying the garden outside. Have you planted any flowers outside your house, like got any nice blooms outside, like, well, we got vegetables. That sounds good. Ghost story. Everyone sit tight. I have a ghost story for you all. Can I tell you guys a ghost story about that time I went outside and saw a ghost? Sure. Okay, everyone. Come in here and I'll tell it to you. Come in here, guys. I want to tell you in the kitchen. Come in the kitchen! 
back off my wife. So, they had this creepy ghost man. He, he was, he only came out at dark. He was really scary, like, he'd come and haunt you in your sleep. He had this little potion that he would use on his victims. He looked a bit like a My Sims character. And he was a bit like, he was a Reaper's enemy, literally. And like, he looked like one of My Sims, like he did. The Grim Reaper feared him the most, like he did. It was the Grim Reaper's enemy, like you could talk about him. And the Grim Reaper's head would go on fire. Literally, like... Bats. Even bats were afraid of him. Like, it's kind of hard to picture that. I didn't even know that bats existed. Oh, but bats feared them the most. The Grim Reaper's head was still on fire from the fort of it. And... He then said to himself, let's forget this beast and just go partying out in the moonlight. So that's what he did. He found the potions and gave them to the ghost. The woman said her daughter had died 20 years ago. The end. Wow, that was impressive. Impressive, bro. Shaka bra. Like, where you going? You going out? Well, I suppose we better go. Hey, how about I treat you out to something to eat? Something to eat, rather. Sure, where are we eating out at? At a diner? Seriously? Uh, no. We're eating out at a restaurant. Let's eat outside. Since it's not raining. Oh, duh. Come on, Dorothy, let's go eat out. It's getting pretty late, too. And I'll drive you there, because I'm a gentleman. You know, I... I enjoy being this husband figure to you. If you never delivered me my newspaper, then we never would have met. And that's what I love about you. Well, it's a good thing we met then, didn't we? Yes, it is. Now let's go in order. What do you two want? Um... What do you want? Um... I'm not sure. I'll have chicken, please. And I have a hot dog. That's ten pounds. Ten pounds? Are you gonna let me sit down? I wanna eat with my wife. Eat it! Eat your food! Oh, sorry, I had an egg rolls instead. Eat your food, man. Eat your food. Why can't you sit together? Like, fine. Be that way. Would have been nice if you could sit together, but you chose to be idiots. Why can't you eat? Fine. You know what? Make things difficult for yourself and die. How about that? 
How about you just eat with date? And I'll put up his um hunger just so you can go eat. Put it down, whatever. Just so you can go eat. Like everything's about you. Hello, it's you two again. What would you like? Uh, same orders. Oh, I get it. You would like the same? Yes, we would. Coming right up then. You just sit down and we'll give you your food. So, how's day been today? The day has been great. Thanks, Brennan. <laughs> You're welcome, Dorothy. When my f when your food arrives, it isn't what you ordered. Do you kindly send it back? I'll keep it and eat it up. This isn't my food. You get to send it back. This isn't my food. Oh, I'm I'm terribly sorry, Miss. You have you'll get free food tonight. Ooh, thanks. This paid off. <laughs> oh, I know that dog. But who is that? Like who? Mm, I'm pretty sure. Isn't that like who? Isn't that supposed to be a poodle? Not that. For a second it didn't look like one, but it is a poodle. Trust me, it's a poodle. I don't know why it's going out with Ryan and Stranger though. Like, how? Why? Like, how? And why? But okay, there you go, Ryan Strangers. Like, it's not what you ordered. Okay, like. Now let's end this day. Spending time together was wonderful. I'd love to see you again soon. Well, we live together, dude. Like, we live together. We see each other every day. Like, it's crazy that we came this far. Your pregnancy outfit needs to be improved. You can't go out running around with no bottoms on like. Come on, get in the car. We're all tired around here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I need to use the toilet, so I'm going to use it. And I'm pretty tired after that long day, graduation, relatives, and uh, um, visiting, um, well, actually going out on a date. All that was hard work for me. I'm ready to hit the bed. Same, I'm gonna go to bed too. Hey, Dorothy. How would you like to get a dog when our children or child is born? Like, we can get a child if they. Not a child. We can get a pet if they would like a pet. How do you feel about that? Well, if they agree that they like a dog, then I don't see why not. It could really use that some spicing to this place. Like, it could really use it. Improvements! Like, it's not even serious. I'm pretty sure someone else has used this house before, but I don't really. This is our house now. Our home.
I'm gonna go back to. I'm now going back. Just prepare yourself. Open toilet. Oh, work. Parties! Phone call. Medicine. TVs. Toys. Nets. I'm pretty sure we got a burglar alarm, right? 